Yo, what is good, YouTubes? This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC that is the Everyday City Carry. And today we're going to be reviewing the Civivi Pintail. Almost drop it right there. It's all good, keeping it professional as usual. This knife came out of left field for me with how good it is. Let's take a look at the specs real quick. All right, the Civivi Pintail, man. We're gonna do this sort of front-facing camera thing because I got this new camera and I gotta try it out. But we're gonna go through aesthetics and a bunch of other specs that uh, I took note of with this knife. So with the aesthetics, this is not a bad looking knife at all, but it does seem kind of plain Jane, kind of average design for me, kind of safe. Um, and it looks like a lot of other knives that we and Civivi has already done, like the Wii knife rectifier, which I can't believe that they named it that. But look how similar these two knives look to each other. Like what? And do you guys remember the Civivi shard? It's just similar size. Um, the blade shape is different on this one, but it's it's just the weakest attribute to me with this knife. You know, if Civivi was designing this in an RPG in the character creation, they kind of just went over the design aesthetic of it. It just kind of looks ordinary. It's fine, not a bad looking knife. It just looks kind of ordinary to me. Now the action on this thing is actually pretty damn good. You've got a flipper tab right there and you've also got thumb studs. This thing is pretty awesome. It runs on bearings. You are going to be flipping this thing all day. I noticed that it's just a joy to flip because it's one of those knives that have an action that doesn't give you a lot of hand fatigue. Unlock my ding dong. Now I'm just playing. But yeah, it's just really, really enjoyable to flip this thing. It, it just, it's just a really great surprise for me at the end of the year. And I'm sure you guys will agree with that. Now the blade length is 2.98 inches. As you can see, it is freaking palm ready, which is awesome for New York City living. Uh, the blade shape is that, not gonna describe it. Um, it is really good though, and I did uh, process process a box like I'm some professional or something. I did cut a box down, as you can see in these vids right here. Now the handle scales, you're going to be looking at micarta on this one. It does come in other scale options. Uh, it also comes with a non-coated blade too. I know some people were like, yo, I don't like the, uh, the coated blade, but on my unboxing, by the way. But uh, no, this does come in other scale options. I do dig this color combination though. I mean, just check that out right there. You got the micarta with the black hardware, the black pocket clip, and the black blade. It looks pretty dope to me. You got black liners too, which are stainless steel. Now, Ergo's is another place where this thing freaking shines like crazy, at least for my small Asian fish ball hands. You've got jimping on top, so you can do these, uh, this kind of grip right here. You've got a little bit of a sharpening choil here, which you can do this. It looks kind of dangerous though. I'm probably not going to do that. And you got this little sort of loopy loop here, which is an opening for the liner lock, which is also very easy to access. And that little cutout right there also makes the thumb stud very accessible. So, you know, just kind of home run on the uh, ergonomics of this thing. The pocket clip does poke out a little bit. As you can see, there is a loop on that. So you might want to take note of that. Another thing to take note of is the pocket clip does have recess screws, but they were lazy which makes me freaking angry, Civivi, that they didn't make a cutout for the placement of the pocket clip on the micarta. It is reversible though, for you lefties out there. Now for the weight, you're gonna be looking at 2.76 ounces, which is pretty freaking light. Um, 
you know, it is a pretty small knife, but dude, 2.76 is awesome for me. And uh, it feels really good in the pocket. I don't carry on the clip, actually, because I live in NYC, you guys know that. And this feels pretty good in there. And I have um, a pocket sheath, a leather pocket sheath, which has a pen and a Swiss Army knife in it, as well as this in my slim fit jean pocket, bro. And it's fine. So definitely the weight does not bother me. Now, I was talking about the pocket clip already. It is deep carry, which is awesome. But again, things that make me mad in the knife world. Why don't you just, you're putting recess screws. Why don't you just make a cutout for the pocket clip in the scale material? Like the G10 or the micarta or whatever. It is reversible. And the lanyard, um, I wish that they do it through the back, which is how I like it. I don't mean to sound sexual, but that's how I do like it. And it just kind of disrupts the flow of the scale for me when they just slap the lanyard hole like at the butt end of it. <laughs> now for the price, you're going to be looking at 84 bones, $84, yo. That's it, man. Um, this That's pretty awesome because you're going to be getting S35EN blade steel. You're going to be getting a pretty light knife, a pretty safe design with a really good action. Flipper and thumb studs running on bearings. Weight reduction on the inside as well. And, uh, you know, good, uh, the Civivi name pretty much, which is a good one. And you've got a pretty awesome knife here. Civivi's kind of like moving into that, I'm going to assume, 70 to $100 range, which I think is a good move for them because that's kind of the range that I like to play in, 80 to $100. Um, but I want S35VN. I want S35VN. I want more than D2. I want more than 9CR18 MOV. And Civivi is basically giving us that with the Civivi Pintail. So do I think this knife is worth it? Uh, final thoughts and conclusions. Um, this is probably one of the most awesome Civivi knives I've ever tried uh, with my own personal preferences in mind. This is perfect for New York City. Good ergos for the Asian, uh, small Asian fish paw hands. Good action. You guys know action is the most important thing to me. And uh, this definitely is amazing at that. I keep almost dropping the knife because of this new angle. Um, a buddy uh, uh, basically said, is the Civivi Knives Elementum, is the Pintail the new, the new Elementum basically for Civivi? And I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe I'll make a video on that. But we're going to end the video right there. Pick up a Civivi Pintail. This is a really awesome knife for the price. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. I'm being a YouTuber now. This is your boy in NYC. It's me, Ray. And this is the EDCC saying peace. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.